Okay, so this one is just a kind of short uh, problem on estimating the angular momentum for a system. So this one's very straightforward. Um, we just have a bowling ball and we want to kind of guess what the angular momentum is for this bowling ball. Um, so we know that the angular momentum equation, we have L is equal to IW. Um, but one thing, the reason why we're doing this problem is I want to point out the concept of like direction for angular momentum. So angular momentum and torque um, all have a direction uh, because they are a cross product, right? If I have this R cross P basically. Um, so in this case, I think it's, it's hard to kind of visualize where the linear momentum uh, is. So I just kind of want to point out for direction. When we look at clockwise, right? And counterclockwise as a sign convention, um, that has to do with uh, the actual um, value of our resultant vector and whether it's pointing out of or into the page, right? When the resultant vector is um, uh, uh, negative, basically, that means it's pointing into the page. So if I have something that's like spinning, right, on the page, um, and this is when I have a clockwise direction and a negative resultant uh, either torque, angular momentum, or um, yeah, I think angular velocity too. Basically, um, we're dealing with a direction that would be pointing um, for these cross product values. Uh, so for torque and for angular momentum, that means that they would be pointing um, into the page basically. Uh, so in this case, we see the spinning bowling ball, right? Uh, and this L vector, this L vector for the angular momentum is gonna be pointing up. So um, kind of a good way to think about it is if I wanna wrap my hands around to see what direction it's going, if I wrap my hands around um, going uh, counterclockwise, I can see that my thumb is pointing up, but if I have to wrap my hands around up, upside down, okay, following that, that um, the rotation, and I can see my thumb is pointing down, so that's gonna give me a negative, right? So this is I have positive and this is I have negative here, right? Okay, um, so just kind of note that. Okay, so counter or clockwise is negative and then counterclockwise is positive. So this also applies to angular momentum. Okay, just by convention here. Um, okay, so uh, let's see here. Um, so we just wanna make an estimate. So in this problem, this one's really simple. This is basically just sort of like a plug and chug. We have a mass, right, of the bowling ball. We have a radius of about 12 centimeters. Um, uh, the uh, let's see, angular momentum, it's spinning at about 10 revolutions per second here. Um, so let's think about that. So 10 revolutions per second. Um, let's convert that to angular velocity. So our angular velocity, if we have 10 revolutions per second, that would give us, um, we have, and then we have two pi radians per revolution. Uh, w, uh, which we are going to find in radians, would be um, 20 pi radians per second. Okay, cool. All right. Um, then uh, we, uh, let's see, we know that we have a sphere, right? So we can find our mass moment of inertia for a sphere. This is just the general equation for a sphere that we got from our lookup table. Um, so we know for a sphere, it's going to be two-fifths mr squared. Okay, so where are all these terms coming from? What is r? So r is the radius of our bowling bar, ball, um, and that's about 12 centimeters here. Uh, and we're going to convert that to meters, uh, which is going to be 0 0.12. Okay, so we're w, um, and then we it's about six kilograms. So the mass, right? So large M here equals six kilograms. Okay. So in this case, to find um, our, our angular momentum, we're just basically doing plug and chug here. So we have our radius and we have our mass and we have our angular velocity. So just plugging in all of those terms, L is equal to um, two fifths, right? What was our M? Six kilograms. R squared is 0 0.12 meters squared. Um, so this is just our I term, right? And then our W was 20 pi radians per second. Um, and then if we put this into our calculator for L, um, we're gonna get approximately 2.2 kilograms uh, 
meters squared per second. Okay. So this is kind of just like a thought exercise and kind of how to like generally estimate it. So if you're like, oh, well, if I know kind of like how big it is, how many times it's spinning around per second um, and kind of the shape of it, I can estimate the um, angular momentum for an object. So this is a kind of a soft intro to kind of just bring us back to where we were last time. Um, and then let's go and jump into a few more complicated problems here. <laughs> 